Jenna Ortega has had a whirlwind past few months. The Wednesday actress skyrocketed into superstardom with the release of the Netflix series, which offers a fresh take on the Addams Family. The show became an overnight hit when it was released in November, and was watched for more than 341 million hours during its first week. Access Hollywood is looking back on Jenna's Wednesday journey so far. We're spotlighting some of our favorite interviews with her and her co-stars about the show. Plus, we're flashing back to some of the memorable reactions to Wednesday, including how stars helped turn Jenna's character's dance into a viral phenomenon. You've said you'd actually been compared to Wednesday in the past. I'm curious to know how so. I have a very dry sense of humor, and I think that if you got to know me, you would find that I'm very negative. <laughs> or like depressing at times. I don't know, I've always kind of turned towards darker things, and I think it's kind of weird when you're in an industry, industry like this too, because you feel the need to be so something odd, else. But yeah. yeah, most people think I'm a, I'm a little weird in that way. I, I love to hear that. I mean, your colleagues, your coworkers, your co-stars have talked about your dry sense of humor, how much they love it, how sometimes they're like, wait, was that a line or was that Jenna just talking? Yeah. So it's awesome to see how much, you know, you seem to relate to the character, at least when it comes to the humor. Working with the OG, Christina Ricci, talk to me a little bit about what it was like sharing scenes with her. Christina Ricci is just such a talented actor. Uh, I've, I've always been a fan of her work and obviously it all started with Wednesday so I think it was a little intimidating definitely trying to be Wednesday in front of Wednesday or somebody right. that I've always looked at as that character uh, but also just her professionalism and the way that she carries herself when you're working with someone who is so gifted at what they do mm -hmm. it kind of makes it easier your your own personal job easier and kind of elevates everything which I just it really was such a pleasure. One thing that you both have in common is both having been child stars. I'm curious to know if that was something you guys bonded over. Did you talk about that? It was weird. Christina came in kind of towards the end of the job. She okay. had been on another job and then came in. And when we were working together, everything was moving at such a fast pace. It's towards the end of the job, we both were pretty tired. She had mm -hmm. just had a child. It was, <laughs> it was, it was a lot. And we didn't talk too much about, we never m once mentioned Wednesday, we never, any conversation that we had on set was very casual, like, oh, where are you from, mm -hmm. sort of thing. And yeah, it was, it was nice getting to know her. Yeah, with your career and the fact that you've worked so much, this is not your first foray, you know. Um, what do you think has been the key to navigating childhood stardom for you, to go from that to where you are now as a young adult? How do you, mm. I mean, keep it together? What was the key? Well, I'm very fortunate because I, have, I know everyone kind of says this, but my family is truly the best and they sacrifice so much for me to be where I am and, yeah. and that's kind of, I think, why I'm motivated or determined to do so well or do so, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, because of them, I always lived a bit of a double life. I still mm -hmm. went to public school, I still played soccer, I still did dishes when I went home, I never, there was no special treatment and I wasn't immersed enough in Hollywood or, or that kind of, um, lifestyle that I think that it's kind of helped my transition or balance. It's a little weird now once you're older and you are fully immersed, but so I, I always have people back home that I know I can talk to and trust and love and, and I think I'm very lucky in that way where a lot of child actors aren't. Tell me a little bit about creating the new Wednesday look with the bangs. People are obsessed. What was so important about the difference in the look approaching the role? I think it was really important to establish a new look with this one considering it's a very different world and I think just kind of letting the know world visually that this is a, a different Wednesday. Uh, she's a different person from previous iterations and I, uh, yeah, the bangs were Tim's idea, black and white. I mean, Colleen Atwood did all of the wardrobe, which is incredible. She's a legend. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think it was interesting seeing her in a uniform and I like it because it's, it feels very like a, like a 60s private investigator. You are the iconic Wednesday. What was it like not acting as Wednesday, but viewing it as like an outsider. It was really fun. And you know, I know the challenges of the character. So watching Jenna navigate those challenges and do it so well and with such art and wit and um, humanity was really fun to watch. You know, I really feel like every generation um, needs their needs their own Wednesday and she's the perfect Wednesday for this time. I think she is too because I have been hearing so much about this series, even like months before. Everyone is so excited to see Jenna act as Wednesday and I think she just kills it. What was it like working with her? What is she like in real life? Jenna I love. She reminds me of how I was when I was younger. She's very serious. She's uh, very dry and sarcastic. She's just, you know, um, feels wiser than her years. 
Um, it's so incredibly talented. and I mean, that I can't say reminds me of me, but she is so incredibly talented and competent and um, just has, has such dignity and self-respect, and that is what is at the core of Wednesday. I had not gone over it at all. <laughs> you so, had no plan? No. Jenna Ortega's viral dance from Wednesday came together at the last minute. The star of the hit Netflix series stopped by The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon on Friday, and she told the story behind her fan favorite dance scene in episode four, which she choreographed herself. Jenna told Jimmy about a conversation she had with director Tim Burton about two days before they shot the scene. And uh, he came to my trailer about two days before we shot it and said, hey Jenna, so I know you said that you wanted to choreograph this, self I uh, this yourself because I refuse to see a choreographer. He was like, I know you got it. You've been working on it. I'm not even worried about it. I trust you. And I said, oh yeah, you know, it's all so good. And I had not gone over it at all. <laughs> Jenna explained that she'd been busy with prep for other scenes that week. So the dance had been on the back burner. You so, had no plan. No. I mean, I, I was doing cello that week, fencing that week. I just didn't have time. You do a lot in the show. There's a lot going on. The actress said she was, quote, kicking herself over the task at hand. But she dug in and did lots of research. I felt like such a fool. I was like, I, I'm not a dancer. I don't do any of that. I've never, I have no experience in that field. And then, yeah, I didn't sleep for two days. I watched videos of Susie and the Banshees. Really? Uh, Denny Levant in Beau Travail. Uh, I found archival footage of goth kids dancing in clubs in the 80s. Yeah. On the day of the shoot, Jenna said she thought, all right, let's just see what happens. And what happened ended up being a total smash success. The dance is all over TikTok, turning into a phenomenon Jenna did not see coming. Netflix, they were telling me, oh, you know, Jenna, this is gonna be a thing on TikTok. And I thought, yeah, 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 okay, whatever. Because I figured, you know, they're excited, they're getting hyped up, and then they were right. Lady Gaga is joining in on the Wednesday TikTok trend and doing Jenna Ortega proud. In the weeks since the TV series dropped on Netflix, Fans have been sharing videos of themselves recreating Jenna's memorable dance scene as her character Wednesday Adams, and setting their moves to a sped up version of Gaga's song Bloody Mary. So naturally, the pop star had to join in. On Thursday, she shared a black and white video of her dressing up in a Wednesday inspired look, then hitting every move perfectly. Gaga captioned it Bloody Wednesday in all caps, and fans went wild over her taking on the viral trend. The music superstar had already shown support for her song being paired with the dance, Earlier this month, the show's official Twitter account wrote in the voice of Wednesday, I see you doing my dance moves to Lady Gaga's Bloody Mary. I understand she is followed by little monsters. I approve. And Gaga wrote back, Slay Wednesday. You're welcome at the house of Gaga anytime. And bring Thing with you. We love paws around here. Gaga isn't the only star that's hopped on the Wednesday dance trend. Kim Kardashian and Northwest recently showed off their spooky moves. And Derek Huff and Haley Herbert also nailed their own routine. Camila Valieva just brought Jenna Ortega's viral Wednesday dance to the ice. When the Russian figure skater competed at the 2023 Russian Figure Skating Championships last week, she took inspiration from Jenna's moves as Wednesday Adams in the hit Netflix series. Things started out on a fittingly spooky note when Camila crawled out onto the ice, rocking Wednesday's signature braided pigtails and a black dress that matched the one Jenna wore in her character's episode four dance scene. Jenna's dance in the show was set to goo goo muck by the cramps. And a minute into Camila's skate, the song started blasting, and she recreated many parts of the original routine on the series move for move. She closed out her impressive routine to the Lady Gaga song Bloody Mary, which is a track Wednesday fans have been using as they try out the dance on TikTok. Camila's skate went viral on social media, and it was clearly a hit with the judges too, as she took home a silver in the Women's Senior Championships. I love the success with Wednesday. Was that, did, did it kind of catch you off guard, like the phenomenon that it became so quickly? Yeah, it's... um. I try not to pay too much attention to what's going on, and but I, I think that I've, I felt a, I've definitely felt the shift in my life and in, in, in the way um, things are operating now, which has been really really strange. But I'm I'm really really glad that people even like this show. I, I put a lot of pressure on myself, and Wednesday is in literally every scene. So if this show has brought any sort of joy or entertainment or has given people an escape from reality in any sense and, and brought them joy, that makes me very very happy. And it's not the last we're going to see of Wednesday, right? Is there talks about continuing the character and, and continuing the show? Yeah, we actually just got confirmed for a season two. So Congratulations. I'm working on that later this year. Did you get to do the show here in L.A.? Or? No, we shot first season in Romania, and then I'm not sure where we're going second season. Oh, wow. Awesome. So how many people of note have done your dance already? I saw Lady Gaga. I saw. I mean, you must strip out on all the people that have done the Wednesday dance, right? 
it's so funny because Netflix told me that they thought that it was going to be some viral situation and I kind of laughed at them because obviously they want to be as encouraging and supportive of the show and I thought they were just trying to be nice and then yeah I feel like I can't escape it now <laughs> I've seen <laughs> practically everyone do it and I've seen some really incredible um, iterations so it's, it's pretty cool.